I want to talk for a moment about the tragedy of good intentions. It's an epidemic these days. It is when the well-meaning overreact, usually to a media hype story, and then end up making things worse. Sometimes it can end in tragedy. The latest face of the tragedy of good intentions is 16-year-old Amy Joyner Francis. She was beaten to death in a girl's bathroom at Howard High School of Technology in Wilmington, Delaware, because of a dispute with another girl over a boy. She walked into the bathroom before classes started. She told a friend she was going to try to resolve the problem, but the girl and five others were waiting for her and jumped her. They beat her, slammed her head into a sink, stabbed her with pencils, and the whole thing was videotaped. This is a frame grab of one of the videos with Amy on her knees as she's being beaten by the others. It makes you sick. It makes you question everything. Here's a question. Why wasn't there anybody there to protect Amy? Where were the teachers and the administrators? First of all, teachers and administrators aren't allowed in the Wilmington Public School System in the students' bathrooms, which is why it's the favorite place for activity that you don't want authority figures to see. But even if they were there, they're instructed not to get involved. They're supposed to call a security officer, and that could take life-saving minutes. And these fights, I'm told, are commonplace. They happen in the hallways, in the cafeteria, in the gymnasium. This is Howard High School in Wilmington once again. That girl who's being beaten allegedly was in the bathroom with Amy. They all came in the very next day to wait in the gymnasium for grief counseling. The teachers often stand by and watch. They don't get involved because they don't want to lose their careers. You see a fight between students? Doesn't get reported on the news unless there's a murder or a serious injury. But a fight between a teacher and a student, well, that's national news. Like the teacher who tried to break up this fight in the classroom at a Detroit high school. The teacher didn't know what to do last Wednesday. Her walkie-talkie was broken and no security in sight. So she used a broom to stop this classroom chaos, hitting a student in the back. Was it right? Absolutely not. But the school has labeled it child abuse and recommended the teacher be fired. And she was. With no backing from the school district, the parents, the teachers, the public, the media, why on earth should a teacher get involved? Overreacting to online videos seeping into the nightly news, school districts across the country have told teachers don't get involved to protect the students. <laughs> to protect the students. Tell that to Amy Joyner Francis. It seems like everyone is protected, but the student who's getting beaten. It is the tragedy of good intentions. I'm Larry Menti. See you again next week.